that. Uh, so please do that. Also, we have a survey. If I remember off the top of my head, I believe it was a bit.ly slash mayhem survey. Yes, it is. Uh, bit.ly slash uh, mayhem survey. Uh, go there. That's your chance to get. Uh, we're going to have a drawing of the people that submitted. We all have, already have a few that have submitted for John Cena, My Life DVD set. Three DVDs uh, circa around 2007, so some early John Cena stuff. Uh, so pretty cool there uh, to see kind of a blast from the past there. So go bit.ly slash uh, mayhem survey. Remember, that's B-I-T dot L-Y for bit.ly slash mayhem survey. And uh, let us know what you think of the show. We're getting, we're getting some really good feedback, some really intriguing feedback, some really mic angering feedback sometimes. Uh, but other than that, <laughs> I will find out who you are, anonymous. Yes, anonymous. They'll come to your house. <laughs> no, 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 no! Don't threaten them. We want their honest opinions. No, I'm not. Sorry, I'm not threatening. I will come to their house and prove that I am with the likes. <laughs> he will bring you brownies. Uh, I there will. You go. And they will not have hashish in them. Come on with kindness, man. Uh, there you go. Uh, but then, please go check it out. Do the survey. We're giving away stuff. We're giving away tickets. We're trying to do more of this to give back to the fans. And of course, stay tuned. We got a big fan thing coming up here in December. Just saying, Mark. I believe it's December seventeenth. If you're in the Pittsburgh area, you might want to keep that open uh, and and be sure you got the car all gassed up. Uh, oh. So, hmm, we'll have more details that coming. Uh, some of you already got an invite. Some of you guys already got an invite to that. So, check your mailboxes there on the Facebooks. Uh, so, with that, you know, we've already touched on it. Uh, 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 Eamon, what is going on with the Wrestling Is promotion? Another one bites the dust? Another one, and I guess to go over it a bit, well, I guess to sort of introduce it, we did get another email from Alex Cars uh, concerning the wrestling and stuff. So he uh, writes, uh, Roses are red, violets are blue. I am Chikara, and so can you. I don't... I can also... Okay, I... Yeah. Hello, 10 percenters. It's your boy Alex Cars with the latest <laughs> update on Chikara. The next phase of hashtag I am Chikara is underway as the fans have been called to promote the company in various non-wrestling avenues. Meanwhile, various clues have come up that link to the current angle to wrestlers from as far back as the first year of the promotion. Fun times! Tomorrow I am hosting a set of online rally type events via Google Hangout. If you're interested in checking it out, join us at the Power to the Smarts channel on YouTube. Until next time, this is Alex Cars reminding you to keep your eyes to the skies for a certain winged ringed warrior and his air force. Okay. Yeah, so go check that out at the uh, Power to the Sparks uh, site and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, so Wrestling Is uh, had some interesting developments uh, this past weekend. Uh, I mentioned uh, Wrestling Is Awesome had their tournament to crown their champion. That was eventually won by 3.0 member Scott Parker. Uh, however, things sort of seemed to take a turn uh, of sorts when uh, Dr. Cube, who many of you may know as uh, one of the lead supervillains uh, in a little promotion called Kaiju Big Battle, uh, attacked, uh, basically, and uh, basically killed the company very much in the way that uh, the group known as Gekido killed Wrestling is Intense about a month or so ago. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be some interesting stuff. Uh, it was definitely a a shift. I'm I'm interested to see how this develops. Um, I'm wondering if you're going to see a lot more of those top heel stables that have occurred over Chikara, sort of slowly taking out these wrestling as promotions. Uh, apparently, it's just not one group of people that's doing it. So that's definitely. Yeah. Uh, providing a bit of intrigue. Uh, I encourage you to check out all the Wrestling Is stuff of the remaining five of the seven Wrestling Is promotions uh, that are in various parts of the United States. Um, go check them out because uh, you may see some stuff that uh, is definitely developing and leading to something that could, you know, be the result of this whole Chikara uh, nonsense. And, and so people clarify, if you want to look for some of them, there's Wrestling Is Heart, Wrestling Is Respect, uh, wrestling is fun. Um, what are some other ones out there? Wrestling is cool. Wrestling is cool. And wrestling is... Awesome. I can't remember the last one you haven't said. Well, anyways. <laughs> uh, you know, hey, I was trying to look some stuff up, see if I could find some footage or anything from uh, this event you're talking about. And I noticed I pulled up the Wrestling is Awesome website. And, and if you go to... like. Any page here, they're 404 so um, they're going... Yes, the same thing that happened with the uh, Intense website. Okay. 
Okay, so, so, yeah. so interesting, intriguing developments there. Kind of curious what they're going to do with Maybe that. Maybe it's that blue hippo. Maybe it's that blue hippo's fault that wrestling what? that Jakar is dead. What blue hippo? The one on the 404 page. That's a gator. Is it a gator? It's okay, it's a gator. gator. I wouldn't hold. I wouldn't put it past Jakar to have someone in a giant gator outfit be the one responsible for taking down all these commercials. Hey, that's a replacement for Dragon Dragon, right? Exactly. Yeah. Poor Dragon Dragon. Poor, mm. poor Dragon Dragon. So yeah, uh, go check them out. Go follow them. Uh, and if there's a Wrestling Is promotion near you, I definitely encourage you to check it out because you won't just find information about what could happen to Jakar, but you could also see some good wrestling, and that's always fun. Uh, so there's a, a couple event. events. I'm sorry? There's always a danger of that. Always a danger. Uh, there's a couple events that are happening this weekend that I encourage you to check out. Uh, the first being a big doubleheader event if you're in the Voorhees, New Jersey area. Uh, for CZW and WSU, they're holding a doubleheader October 12th, which is this Saturday. Uh, WSU's Blood and Thunder event, which should be a really awesome event, uh, including Jessica Havoc defending the WSU championship against Lexus. A no disqualification match between former Shimmer champion Soraya Knight and Mickey Knuckles. Uh, there's going to be a ton of awesome stuff, really cool stuff uh, from WSU. And then the same day is the CZW event. Uh, that will be happening as well. Uh, both of those events you can actually check out on iPay-Per-View at CZ iPay-Per-View. Uh, no, sorry. CZW iPay-Per-View.com. Uh, and, yeah, you can check out both of those events, uh, order them, and see for yourself. From what I hear, the that website, as far as iPay-Per-Views, have seemed to be doing really good with the iPay-Per-View stuff. Uh, I haven't heard of any problems, um, which is always good because we've mentioned before the stuff with iPay-Per-Views, and, and it's danger. Uh, so, yeah, that's definitely should be a, a very interesting time. I encourage you to check out both Combat Zone Wrestling and Women's Superstars Uncensored. Uh, and like I said, go check out com to see it on iPay-Per-View, or you can see it live in Voorhees, New Jersey at the Flyer Skate Zone. Uh, so definitely check that out. Uh, we mentioned it a bit before uh, but with our contest that we're having, but RWA has an event this weekend for Bloody Harvest 5 in West Newton, Pennsylvania. Sorgatron Media will be there, Woo! as always. Yes, Sor- and we do have, talking about, this is uh, the man who usually joins us around this time. He contributes to the Wrestling Mayhem show and all that. Uh, he is the man behind the, the sounds of the RWA. So let us know what's coming up there. Uh, Wheels... I can find What's up, partner. everybody? What's up, man? Uh, uh, so sorry, I, sorry, I had the noise earlier. I'm up at the Cal U campus, sitting there promoting a show for Saturday. Awesome, awesome, uh, and that's Cal U P A, not in California, California. Just to exactly, clarify. we're not that widespread. Although we have, we got a boy down in Long Beach. So tell me what what's coming up. What what's going on? We have fallout. We got people getting haircut last last uh, month with R W A. Uh, what are we expecting here? Uh, we are expecting, one, a TLC match for the RWA Tag Team titles between the A-List and good old Wild West. This feud has been going on for a while, as you know, Sorg, mm-hmm. and it's been pretty brit- pretty bitter lately. I mean, women going through tables and injuries, so maybe there will be some retribution for the A-List. And also, we have another main event of the circle of Ryan Mitchell and Ryan Edmonds versus Lodi and Scotty Matthews. Hey, keep in mind, that is WCW's Lodi, the old sign guy, and he's still going with the sign guy kind of gimmick. Yes, he is. I mean, I, I told you like a couple weeks ago, Sorg, that it's kind of weird looking at the guy. You look back then to now, it's it's amazing. It's surprising what the difference a few years make mm-hmm. but i mean he can still go so uh and we're expecting a return from a uh, one of rwa's uh wrestlers who hasn't been around for a couple months he's been touring the international area and that is uh our friend hold on because i'm forgetting his name offhand and i gotta go to the website <laughs> that i updated so <laughs> Oh, John Schuyler. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, uh, he'll be making his return. We don't know who he's going to go against. But whoever it is, I feel sorry for because he's a hungry young talent. Excellent. So, that is what, so far, you can find out if 
a little bit more of what's going on with RWA on our Facebook, on our updated new look of the RWALive.com website, thanks to Sorgatron helping me with some suggestions. There you go. Uh, so, yeah, go check out RWALive.com. Thanks, Wheels, for joining us. Not and a problem. We'll Thank you for you. having me, sir. We'll see you there Saturday. And, uh, and as usual, we get a lot of tweets. You'll see a lot of pictures and stuff from the event. If you follow me on Twitter, a lot of us, uh, Chachi included there. We have a lot of fun there out there at RWA. So what else is going on there, Eamon, in the Indie Minute? Other things. Other things are happening. Uh, also for stuff of people on the show. And because, of course, I'm on the show, I'm going to help promote this. Because it's this Sunday, Inspire Pro Wrestling has their big event, uh, The Quick and the Dead. It is going to be an awesome show. I'm very, very nervous and excited. And um, I'm excited to uh, get back in that commentary station again. I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, we got a couple uh, big matches. Uh, the final semifinal match uh, in the road to crowning the Inspire Pro champion. Uh, the fi- that semifinal will be Scott Summers, Jordan Jensen, and Ricky Starks. The winner of that joins Mike Dell and Davey Vega in the eventual title match. Uh, we've got JT LaMata uh, on his road to uh, eventual retirement, uh, going against uh, his longtime rival Andy Dalton in a street fight. Uh, the Texas return of Robert Evans, uh, who looks very similar to a man possibly from a promotion called Chikara, uh, taking on JoJo Bravo in what should be a spectacular match. Uh, friend of the show, Ray Rose, taking on one man, Mike Dell. Uh, there's a lot of great stuff. A lot of the young talent in the Texas area. A lot of up-and-comers. Uh, and I am very excited. It should be another su- super fun event. Uh, if you want to check that out, uh, you can go to InspireProWrestling.com. Buy tickets for that event uh, this Sunday, October 13th, at the Marquesa Hall and Theater in downtown Austin, Texas. Uh, it's going to be a really fun show. I'm very excited, and I hope that you are, if you are in anywhere in the Texas area, you'll come on down and uh, join in on the fun because it should be a really, really fun time. And whoever have, you have doing that, uh, that, that teaser video that's been going around is devastating, by the way. Uh, so go <laughs> check that out for sure. Um, with the uh, uh, Inspire Pro, cool stuff going on down there in Texas. And you guys, you guys are doing DVDs too soon, too, right? Uh, well, well, hopefully, we'll pull a lot of our stuff out online. Okay, uh, we are That's definitely right. going to look stuff to get online for you to check out right now. Yeah, uh, and hopefully, we'll we're going to be working a lot with, uh, especially this show with the guys at Greenlist Studios that are going to help produce our stuff. So it should be fun stuff. I'm I'm excited to uh, get that stuff out there to uh, all all the yeah, people that want to check thing, it out. And I and I, I feel like we don't touch on this enough on this show. I, uh, when we try to talk, talk about indie wrestling, or try not to talk about the guys that don't have DVDs. That if you're not in that area, you don't have the opportunity to. So it may seem like, oh, I'm in Texas. I'm not in Pit- I'm not in Texas. I'm not in Pittsburgh. I'm not in Maine. Wherever wrestling is uh is uh but what the wrestling is it's always available usually through smart mark video uh yeah. and we need we, we do need to be, do a better job of saying that uh of course rwa is available through our own sorgatronmedia.com slash store uh the, and of course you're available online uh for for inspire pro czw obviously is available in multiple outlets same with wsu with those ip reviews that we're talking about so uh, mm-hmm. the whole idea uh, uh we really want to say hey you know, you're enjoying your WWE, you're enjoying your TNA, maybe, uh, your Ring of Honor. Here's some other stuff that's alternatives that you can get in other ways. It's not just what you tune into on Spike TV, on USA Network. There are right. a lot of other stuff out there. So that's why we dip into this every week. And and I know it gets a little easy for us to just talk about the stuff we're involved with. I'm just glad to see some yeah. different stuff. I, uh, here. I will also note that next week's, uh, spoiler alert, next week's Indie Minute is going to be chock full of stuff because everyone's running next weekend. Like exactly. everyone. And we are looking at some resources. <laughs> we were just talking about there's a newsletter going around. And I don't know how we got on this. Uh, but we started receiving these newsletters that have a giant list of what looks like every indie wrestling event going on in that week. Yeah. There's it wrestling is everywhere, amazing. guys. It is amazing. I almost want to just like post that on Facebook every once in a while. Just be like, hey, you think there's no wrestling in your town? Well, look at this list. See if there's something mm-hmm. that looks familiar. You know, see if there's something. And, that's and also, I mean, distance. if you do have wrestling in your town, if you, if you think it's something that we should definitely talk about here in the Mayhem Show, I encourage you. If there's a promotion that you love, if there's a promotion that even like you just found out about and you're looking to maybe attend, send uh, send us info at goodtimes at wrestlingmayhemshow dot com, and we will definitely uh, mention on the indie we- indie minute and uh, get the word out there. We'd love to do that. Definitely. Thanks a lot uh, for your indie minute. That's it, right? 
Yes, that okay. is it. For the indie minute. Uh, I'm going to go try to breathe now. <laughs> all right. Another way, I, I can say, another way is we like, we like.